Hello and welcome to the Magic Pencil part of Bobble Socks TV. My name's Andrew and this is Tor. And today we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to draw Twig. We're going to be drawing Twig from the Animation Hilda. If you have any suggestions about future tutorials, don't forget to drop your comments in the box below. Okay then, shall we get started? Yes. Let's begin. Okay, so about two thirds up, about there, and in the middle, we're going to draw Twig's back. So we're kind of going to do a squashed S shape, like that. Brilliant. Okay, and then here, we're going to almost draw like part of a leaf shape at an angle. So I'm going to go like that, and then like that. Okay, so here, see where that curve is, right? We're going to leave a gap and then we're going to carry on that curve. So about here, I'm going to do a curve going up like that. Yeah, and then I'm going to do a short straight line going in like that. Okay, and then from here, I'm going to do like a quarter of a circle. So I'm going to go round like that. Now, just here, I'm going to do a tiny little gap, a tiny little line there. Yeah, and then we've got some room now to do the ear. So I'm going to do another sort of leaf shape like that. Now I'm kind of going to do like a U shape inside or a V shape. So look, can you watch it? In there, I'm going to kind of go like that and then do a couple of loops like that. And then here, I'm going to do like a, another squashed S. And then, we done. And then we'll do a straight line connecting that to that, like that. Okay, now we're going to do twigs and eyes. So I'm going to do a circle here, like that. And then I'm going to leave a little gap, and I'm going to do kind of an oval like that. Okay, and then where the tip of his snout is, we're going to do a diagonal line like that for his nose. Now we've got to do his horn, so I'm going to do two diagonal lines. I'm going to do a diagonal line that way, and then another diagonal line like that. And then I'm going to do like a U shape again. So like that, and like that. Another shape, a new shape like that. And then we're just going to thicken these up a bit and make them darker. Okay, so those are his little antlers. Okay, so when we get to here, I'm going to draw like a curve around like that. Just under his chin, I'm going to do a curve, but I'm going to do like a little zigzag, so it's going to go like that, like that, like that, and like that. And like that. Cool. And then I'm going to do a curve this way, like that. So there's a curve going that way. Mine looks front like way. Rudolph. It does look a bit, but he's part fox, part deer, isn't he? And then I'm going to do. A little gap and I'm going to do another curve that way for his front leg. And then here, I'm kind of going to do like another little S shape so he's reaching, his paws reaching forwards. And then I'm going to do another wiggly S shape like that. Okay. You can do a little bit of colouring in on his paws. Okay. So for the back leg, see where we were there? We're going to do a curve going around and out like that. Yeah, and then I'm going to do a curve in like that. 
And then this is a tricky bit. We're going to do a curve that way, and then we're going to do a curve that way. So we're going to go like that, and then round like that. So let's curl that for him. Okay. And then here, for his tummy, I'm going to do a curve that way, and then it's going to go slightly that way. So, and like that. Okay. And then for the leg, the, third, the fourth leg, I'm going to do a curve going that way. <coughs> I'm going to do a little curve there, like that. And then I'm going to do a curve like that. Let's cut her in his paws. Okay. So up here we're going to do some circles and dots along his back. Like that. Okay. Try to make them different sizes. And I think just here we should make his chin a little bit longer. So see here, this line, we should make that line go a little bit more like that. Okay. And then we're going to do his tail now. So starting there, we go up, bend, round, like that. Okay, cool. And then from the same line, I'm going to do another curve going round like that, and then up like that. And then to connect the two lines, I'm going to do like a zigzag up, down. lines in there so we know that his tail is bushy okay and you can probably do a bit of a line along there so that there's some shadow underneath yeah okay excellent work so we just get coloring in okay let's do that Wow, what an amazing drawing. Give me a high five. That is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed our tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you'd like to receive notifications. You hit the bell button in the face because it beats me up, but don't break the screen. Okay. Um, there's more tutorials coming up, so stay with us. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Look forward to seeing you soon. Goodbye.